Hey everyone, Joel Lance here. Today we are downtown Toronto. Yes, Toronto, Ontario, guys. Good to be back in the sixth outside. Kyukatsu Kyoto Katsuki, which is actually a chain in Asia, in like Japan and stuff. Basically serving katsugyu or gyukatsu, beef katsu, and a whole bunch of other katsus. So I'm super excited, guys. And today we're here to do their challenge. Yes, their gyukatsu challenge. So for this challenge today, look, we have a lovely looking poster. We have 35 minutes to eat a giant three kilogram platter of katsu and rice and all these lovely, lovely, lovely sauces. So this challenge is actually undefeated. There's been countless attempts. They're doing this thing for a limited time and then they're going to stop it for a bit and then they're gonna bring it back. So if we fail, we're paying $80 and we will join the long, long, long list of failures. If we win, we'll be the only winner. We'll also get our $80 meal for free and we'll get a $25 gift card or coupon. And by, I gotta say, $80 for all this quality meat is absolutely insane. Um, there's a variety of different cuts. I'll get you the exact detail. We also have uh, chicken karage, like there's fried chicken, there's fried shrimp, and there's fried fish. So I'll give you the exact details, guys. About 10 minutes, let's have some fun eat some food. I'm definitely excited for this. It's been a long time since I've done challenge here in Toronto. And I love this kind of cuisine. I've only had this kind of like kyukatsu once before. And uh, let's just say I'm excited to have it again. So with that, let's head on in, let's have fun, let's eat some food. All right, everyone, so here I'm with the challenge. I'm here with Ken, who is the chef. Yeah. And a little bit of everything. He's all over the social media. Um, so actually just really lucked out. Uh, I'm not an expert. Ken is. So Ken, what do we have in front of us here, my friend? Sure, so we have eight sauces for this challenge. Okay. So we just quickly the information. So sure. this one is a Worcestershire. Worcestershire yeah, sauce. This is the curry sauce here. Curry, beautiful. And this is our original sauce. Beautiful. It's using the Japanese pepper. Nice. And then this is the onsan. Yeah, so this is an egg. Yeah, so I egg. love a good runny yolk. That is like beef and yolk. Guys, it's one of the best combinations ever. I'm super excited for that. And also this one is a our dashi soy sauce, based on the soy sauce man. Soy, beautiful, I love and soy. And then made a uh, tartar sauce. Tartar, okay, yeah, for the uh, shrimp and the fish, right? Yes, it's for the fishes. Makes sense. And also this is a nege miso sauce, it's a miso sauce. Oh, miso, uh, okay, yeah. I love miso, great flavor. Oh, and here and we have... That's fresh wasabi here. Guys, fresh yeah. wasabi. So many people don't understand that the wasabi most people know is mostly horseradish. Fresh wasabi is so different, it's so floral, it doesn't have that nose bite. Um, so I'm excited to try that. And so from my understanding, these sauces are unlimited, they are endless, but you don't actually have to complete them. Is that right? Yes, that's okay. Right. And then now we got the mainstay. What do we have here? So we have like so much food right here. Yeah. So this four pieces is the menchu. The menchu. So this yeah. is like a burger patty, right? Yes, burger patty. Beautiful. Next is the karage, our original karage. Chicken. Yes, chicken. Love it. And then this is the shrimp patty for the ebi katsu. Ebi katsu, guys. So like shrimp patty, I love it. And this is the aji fry, the fish. Aji fry? Yes. Aji fry. So fried fish. We got little tails on them still too. Yeah. So you know it's fresh, right? <laughs> and then we are still gonna show you because it's here. And why is the ribeye? The ribeye, guys. So good. Yes. And this is the sarong. Okay. And the chuck frog. Sirloin and the chuck. Guys, I gotta say, that chuck is the craziest, most marbled chuck I've ever seen in my life. I definitely love sirloin, good flavor. The ribeye, king of steaks, like you said. All cooked really beautifully, like medium rare. Look at so, that, guys. Yeah, everything medium rare. That's the way it should be. Amazing. Yeah. Hey, well, thank you so much. No. I appreciate you walking through. And then, obviously, all the rice down below, which they uh, they kind of give, they told me that the kind of the weight. So, overall, this is about three kilos, which is about 6.6 .6 pounds. There, it's two pounds of rice down below. This is supposed to be about four pounds of katsu. Um, so I'm definitely excited. Undefeated. Yeah, so let, maybe, right. maybe we can change that today. But that, everybody, let's get started here just momentarily. All right, everyone. So at that, I'm super excited. I'm super hungry, actually, to be honest, guys. I'm starving. I'm still on a UK time zone. So this is like, I don't know, midnight maybe. But anyway, um, so we have our good friend here with the timer. I just want to enjoy this, really. So anyway, let's get started. How about we say at the count of, I'm going to start with the fish. Looks like a good start. Let's say, yeah, let's say okay. uh, count of five, four, Three, two, delay. Starter. Beautiful, let's go. Fish. Try the tartar sauce. Mmm. Very good tartar. I mean, hear that crunch. I'm not gonna use the towel. Karaga? 
Mmm. So we got all the different sauces. Mmm. Very juicy. I tried some of the, uh, the soy. Mm. Ooh, beautiful. Great flavor. Got some miso here. Try the miso. Mmm. Mmm. I like that one. Hey everyone, welcome to Zero. Today we are here at Gyu Katsu Katsu Gyu in Toronto, Ontario doing a challenge which literally went viral. I had so many people tag me in this, so many people want me to do this, so yes, I saw your comments, I responded to the vast majority of them, and I am definitely happy to say I finally made it to try this undefeated giant Gyukatsu challenge. I tried the wasabi too. Fresh wasabi. I'm gonna take a bite of that big, guys. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. So floral. Lovely. I think this is the curry. Try with that. Mm. Good curry. It's Japanese style, so it's nice and sweet. So this is the biggest gyu katsu challenge that I absolutely know of. I mean, beef katsu is generally hard to come by, especially in North America. And to find a challenge of it is awesome. And then to find one this big is even more awesome. I mean, we had like literally four plus pounds of meat on this thing. How amazing. I'll finish up with the karage while we're at it. Which is the uh, fried chicken. So although I was still early into all the items, I was absolutely enjoying the flavors. Having all those side dishes, the additions, the accompaniments were just oh so delicious. Everything from the peppers, the salts, the soys, everything was fantastic. The eggs, absolutely amazing. I also want to give a huge shout out to the staff. Everybody here was super awesome, super friendly, and uh, the location is prime. It's right downtown, basically just off of Young and Dundas Square. So, honestly, this is a new go-to for me in the future. Try the wasabi also. Wasabi and the soy. Mm. That pairing is delicious. That's generally what they put in the beef. Or like they recommend for the beef. The soy and wasabi. But delicious for karate as well. I mean, look at how much I'm eating this. That's amazing. So good. So I was really hoping I was gonna be able to try all of the steaks in front of us, all the different items, because it all looked and smelled so delicious. Um, they did actually, at one point, make the challenge smaller, but this is the original size. Very good, guys. Three and a half minutes in. Give us last of the karage dam. I was, I'm gonna try this egg yolk, too. Dippy egg yolk. Hey, you, mommy. All right. Next, we got the uh, the shrimp patty, the ebe, ebe katsu. Try this in the uh, miso. Mm. Holy crap! Look at this. It's really like straight shrimp, and it's delicious. Try the tartar. Mmm. Mmm. Yes, please, so sweet. So after countless failures, people actually started to say this challenge was impossible and started to give the restaurant some grief about it. Try with a whole glob of wasabi. Oops, and the soy. Mm. That is a match made in heaven. Woo, I felt that one. Whew, yeah, definitely in the nostrils there, but man, that was good. Do that again. I can't believe my shrimps in this. Woo! It's not exactly that time. So the restaurant actually took the original challenge and made it what I'll call a civilian version. That being said, I made sure to get the original version. This is the full size, the full fledged. This is not the smaller version that they started offering to everybody after the many, many, many failures. Uh, that being said, the fact that I was able to come and try this challenge while it was offered was absolutely fantastic. It is a thing where it's like it's offered for like a month or two at a time and then it goes away for a bit and then it comes back for a bit. So the fact I could fit this in was just absolutely amazing. Lovely. I really like these shrimp. 
I'm super impressed. This miso is great with it. <laughs> mm. I just can't believe how shrimp is in this one. Besides that, like I said, we're hoping for that $80 meal for free. We're hoping for that gift card as well. Um, but besides that, I believe that's pretty much the majority of the information. Um, if you've never had katsu, katsu is essentially a Japanese fried meat uh, battered in a tempura batter, such as like we have in front of us. Of course, there's like, you know, specific seasonings and batters and breadcrumbs and all that stuff used, kind of signature items. Um, but yeah, there's generally what like, katsu is. So basically, you can also call this like fried steaks, Fried chicken, fried shrimp, and fried fish. So I wanted to mention this is the, uh, the like the burger patty kind of style. Ooh, super juicy. Very nice. Trying that soy. Really nice flavor. The menchi is very very rich. I think go well with some of this wasabi. Another good pairing. Well, compared to the seafood, like I said, these are very, very, very rich. Trying the Worcestershire sauce. Not bad, trying the curry. Another good addition. Back in the egg. And about seven and a half minutes in. So that everybody lets you get to the rest of the video. Let me know in a comment down below if you've ever tried a deep fried beef. There's of course deep fried beef in different cuisines, but let me know if you ever tried deep fried beef down below. Love the shrimp. Yeah. Just over nine and a half minutes in. Switch out my soy. Got a new one here. Ooh, guys, super delicious. Oh, thank you so much, appreciate that. Like I said, that wasabi definitely cleared my sinuses out. I'll take another wasabi too if I could. Sorry, excuse me. Can I get another wasabi too, please? Thank you so much. And uh, yeah, we're doing not too bad. Got a huge bed of rice. I don't want to underestimate. Well, let's get into these steaks. I'll probably do the, uh, well, here we got the ribeye. Should we just go for it? Let's just go for it, guys. Try it by itself. Mm. So tender, cook perfect. We got the uh, sirloin. It's amazing you can taste, like, the differences. And the chuck, all side by side. Mm. Got an egg here too. So now I'm gonna try the wasabi, big old glob, uh, wasabi, ribeye, soy mix. Thank you. Mm. Mm. Good combo. Try the salt. Good combo. Trying that dippy runny egg yolk. Good combo. Everything tastes good. That yolk on that beef, guys, is phenomenal. And just the flavor of that chuck in general. Such a nice flavored beef. Maybe I'll just use the hands, be easier.
Beef and curry? Man, that truck is tender. Sixteen and a half minutes in, we're on the last piece of beef. Very delicious. It's really hard to pick like the combo like that I like the most, but the egg yolk, the wasabi, and the soy is probably my favorite. Three together. Mm. Just get you mommy of that egg yolk, the saltiness of that soy, the floral, that real wasabi. Very, very good. I like these little name tags I have here too. Little, little name tags. All right. But now, we're on the rice. Super delicious. So far, I do love me some animals. By the way, check out joeys.com, grab yourself some merch. And with that, they recommended that with the rice, you either put the curry and or the egg yolk on it. I'll probably do a bit of both. Let's try it by itself first. And they did offer me. Actually, that absorbs some of the flavors. Very good. So, after like so many failures, they officially reduced the size of the rice. So it went from about two pounds down to like a pound and a half. But I told him to give me the full two pounds. I wanted the original version. I didn't want no civilian version. So this is just the original full size version. Got this uh, soy on it. I like, I like this soy on the rice. Very nice. I'll take some wasabi. I'm just gonna dump that in there. And I'll mix that up. Put some curry there too. Maybe some egg. A little bit of everything. Let's get this all done. And if you made it to this point in the video, first off, thank you so much for watching through and not just skipping ahead. Um, but let's play a joke on the skippers. So leave a comment down below and say, Joel, I love your Godzilla. Or that's an amazing Godzilla. Or something along those lines of Godzilla. Have fun with it. Thank you for watching and thank you for commenting. I pretty much everything on the race right now. And it's great. Sometimes I get a big glob of that wasabi though. Woo, kicks. I think this is some more soy maybe. If not, whatever it is, I just dumped it on it. The one thing I wish I didn't do was put all that wasabi in this rice. Sometimes I get a bite and it just kicks, but it tastes delicious. I love wasabi, but I'm also eating it by the spoonful. Alright, everybody. Just finish this on up. Leave no doubt, you get the shrapnel. Let's see if I can get all the grains of rice. Every last one.
All right. And I'd say we're done. Woo! Can you stop that? Perfect. So I think the official time would be 23, maybe about 40 something, 45, 43. Very delicious, guys. That was uh, a lot of food, but very, very, very good. I really enjoyed it. Uh, I think my favorite were probably the, excuse me, who comments to the chef? Probably the chuck, which was, it really was so tender, so nice. I love that deep, beefy flavor of that chuck. I really enjoyed the, the shrimp, the ebi, ebi katsu. Guys, this is coming from like not a general shrimp person. That was phenomenal. Like, love that. Um, the menchi, the patties, the burger patties are really good. Super, super rich. The other steaks were great. I had no complaints. Um, I loved the wasabi. I mean, I ate literally four or five globs about that big. Um, the eggs were great. Everything was delicious. I got no complaints. So for that, we do get the meal for free, the $80 meal. We will get a $25 gift card or gift certificate. And uh, the challenge is now defeated. We are officially the first to defeat the Gyukatsu challenge. What you guys say? Gyukatsu is very delicious, guys. From my understanding, this is the only location of this chain that is in North America. And I gotta say, I'd come back. I definitely come back and casually here. I mean, you know, obviously I'd eat a little bit quicker than normally you would, but I loved it. So at that, I had no complaints. He's saying somebody here, maybe I'll try a couple more items. Fun fact: the actual owner's favorite, he said, is the tongue. They do like a tongue, like a beef tongue, ox tongue, and I didn't give it a try. It. So maybe I'll give that a shot. But at that run until next time, of course, I'm happy, the hungry, happy eating. And that's about it, guys. That appreciate you. Like, subscribe, comment. And that, have a good day. Oh, and here we got uh, my gift card. <laughs> yeah. So the, 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 the one and only gift card that has been distributed. By the way, this is really nice. That is a that is a solid board right there, guys. There There is no flex in that. Wow. I mean, that, that itself is worth $25. So, well, hey, maybe I'll have to uh, try a few more items here. I know you said your favorite's the tongue. Yeah. I didn't get to try that. So, yeah, there you go, guys. So that's pretty cool. So... Yeah, and like I said, huge thanks to staff, and very friendly, and stay tuned. We got something crazy here, guys. We went with for one of the A5s, guys. We have literally a piece of A5 Japanese Wagyu. I love A5, but it is so rich, guys. It is such a high fat content. It's basically closer to butter, if you ask me, than actual beef. But when in Rome, or more specifically, when at Katsu, gonna give it a shot. This is the tongue, which looks great as well. I do love me a good beef tongue. Again, this is the owner's favorite. Of course, I have some like soy, wasabi, um, an egg here as well, some of the salt. And I actually also got one of their Ebi Sandos, which is the shrimp sandwich. I love that shrimp so much. I asked like, I could have like they had something else in it, but in that patty, Essentially, it's just shrimp, but they grind the shrimp and then they also put in like the, the larger chunks of shrimp So you have a really nice texture So let's leave the Wagyu for last that a5 because that's gonna be delectable. I'll start with the uh, Tongue while we're at it mm. So one thing about tongue which scares people is it's tongue But guys, it's such a great beef flavor I'll try it in the uh, soy. Such a deep beef, fla deep, deep beef flavor. It um, has a really nice texture. It's slightly more texturous. Woo, that was a good bite. Than some of the other steaks. That is delicious. I just see why he likes this so much. Mmm. That tongue is fire. Don't sleep on that. Especially a little wasabi. A little soy. Very, very good. Calories are be expected. Don't worry. I'm not wasting this though. Love it. There's the salt. I like it. That soy. 
I'm gonna sloppy combo with that beef. All right, I actually tongue. Maybe my favorite so far. Next, let's try this shrimp. And then we're gonna get to this freaking A5, guys, because I'm gonna get to that probably a little sooner and later. I don't want that to get cold. It's super aromatic. Get like a lovely like relish. There's some cabbage on it. Mm. Nice and hot. It's on this milk bread. So if you're not familiar with milk bread, this Japanese milk bread, it is so soft. It's like a pillow. Some onion in there as well. Don't sleep on that. Everybody, last but not least, the Japanese A5 Wagyu. Let's give it a shot, but just by itself. Oh my god. No. Everybody. Oh my gosh. It is just like. Oh my gosh. Oh. It just. I can't speak. It just melts in your freaking mouth. Oh. I'm gonna try it with the wasabi and that, that, that soy combo. I don't know if that could get any better. Just so tender. Guys, it's like eating beef butter. The best tasting beef butter, beef, whatever you've ever had in your freaking life. I wasn't sure what to expect with it being deep fried. Oh my gosh, guys, did you, did you see how, like, what kind of little pressure to push through that? Oh my lord. Guys, just absolutely insane. That is honestly the best thing ever. Try a little bit of that salt. Just look at this. Look how tender this is. Oops. I can't eat, it's so fatty. I can't even grip it. I'll put it this way. Game changing, guys. I mean, that is just so rich. So succulent. Oh. When I had the A5 before, I was literally good with just a little bite, but this I'll take the whole steak. That was amazing. Comments to the chef, comments to everybody here. I can't thank enough, that was amazing. I gotta say, so my favorites now, it was the A5. The A5 was my favorite hands down. That was phenomenal. Second actually, my second cut actually might be the tongue. So, I gotta say, both of those were great recommendations. Both of those were delicious. And then, yeah, that was amazing. I can die happy. I can die happy. I can die a happy man, guys. That was the best thing ever. 85. Oh. I'm just gonna sit here in heavenly bliss. I feel elated. Have you ever got an A A5 Wagyu beef pie? Because I have one right now. I have no words. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Yeah, Thanks, Cam. That was great. Hey, Hey, guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe. Yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And at that, thank you so much, you rock.